Hello students. Let us learn about tallest and shortest. Kindly remove your maths textbook page number 68. In last class we learn about tall and short. Today let us learn about tall, taller, tallest. There are three giraffes in the picture. See, giraffes are tall. But now we have tall, taller, tallest. Means we have the tallest giraffe. Okay? There is a tall giraffe, then there is a taller giraffe and then a tallest giraffe. Okay, children? Means among them also there are three options from this three objects or the among this three giraffe which giraffe it is the tallest we have to find out. So let us see the other example. There are three lamp shade. Can anybody tell me which is the tallest of it? Yes. This is the tallest lamp shade. Right? So, there are three objects and among these th three objects, which is the tallest object? Now, short, shorter, shortest. Which is the shortest girl here? Means the girls are short. But among these three girls, which is the shortest girl? The girl which has less height is the shortest girl. Okay. Now, let us learn about the shortest and the tallest. Children, as you can see in the picture, there are three animals. One is a giraffe, second is a deer and third is a rabbit. Which is the tallest animal? The animal which has more height. Giraffe is the tallest animal. And the animal which has the less height is the shortest animal. Okay. So rabbit is the shortest animal and giraffe is the tallest animal. Right children? So, giraffe is the tallest animal and rabbit is the shortest animal. Okay. Now, let us let us do a small activity by Finding out, let us find out the shortest and the tallest tree. See, for the tallest tree, you are going to write T. And for the shortest tree, you are going to write S. For the tallest building, you are going to write T. And for the shortest building, you are going to write S. For the tallest building, you are going to write tallest boy, you are going to write T. And for the shortest boy, you are going to write S. Right children? So children, 
with this you have learned today to identify the tallest building and the shortest building the tallest boy and the shortest boy the tallest tree the shortest tree this was just a practice worksheet now let us go to page number 68 in your maths textbook right children color the box below the tallest boy let us color the box color the box below the tallest dog which is the tallest dog children yes this is the tallest dog right then color the box below the shortest tree come on children which is the shortest tree Yes this is the shortest tree okay color the box below the shortest pillar which is the shortest pillar can anybody tell me yes this is the shortest pillar i hope you have understood the tallest and the shortest objects and how you have to identify them thank you have a nice day